Yay, it's time for some more Blood Bowl. And yes, another useless review. Today, we're having a look at Spike, issue number, what is it, 15? 15, issue 15. Contains all you need for the Amazon. I'm gonna take this fluff, the foam hand off. <laughs> Big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this issue. Really, really fun. Everybody who is, you know, really all about their Blood Bowl, they're most likely already reading these and getting all the rules. And of course, for all of you new people who might be, you know, considering getting into the world and hobby of Blood Bowl, Spike Magazine is, um, I'm not, I think it's like a quarterly, I think. I don't even know how often they produce these, but I think as needed really, I think is what, they, what the issue is. But anyway, with these uh, magazines, they are really, really interesting. They're really, really fun. They're not quite like a white dwarf where it's, you know, there's a lot of like, you know, articles and ads and stuff like that. This is all strictly pertaining to whichever release is coming out or rules or anything like that right and it's, it's strictly just blood bowl related so it's cover to cover blood bowl blood bowl is a game of football which is more like north american football uh not soccer or you know any of that but anyway <laughs> everybody's screaming at their monitors right now i'm sure but it's more like north american football nfl style you know gameplay uh it's a lot of fun it has a lot of humor in it. it's kind of dark humor but it's it's a lot of humor in this and i really really appreciate the the humor with which uh blood bowl presents uh the teams and the lore and everything like that and of course blood bowl still takes place in the old world so it's all old warhammer fantasy types the, that world right with you know the old empire bretonia the chaos waste uthwan uthwan uthlan Uthwan? Uthwan? Can't remember the island now. It's been so long, right? Anyway, it's that realm. I'm sure everybody knows that one as well. It's not quite Age of Sigmar. And it'd be interesting if they did bring Blood Bowl to Age of Sigmar or bring Age of Sigmar to Blood Bowl. Either one would be pretty interesting. I think it would be good for a laugh. Um, I'm sure there's probably previous editions. Uh, I've been playing Blood Bowl since about, about mid nineties. It was around 94, 95 when I started really getting into Blood Bowl. And I've always played the human teams and I really enjoy them. This issue, Spike Journal, or Spike Magazine, yeah, Spike Journal, issue 15, it's all about the Amazons. The Amazons uh, are being released as of making this video or posting of this video. It's really, really exciting. This issue, uh, they're not terribly thick. It's only about 36 pages. I don't know if that's, you know, the norm for this uh, particular magazine, but in this one, it gives us lots of glossy photos. It's excellent quality page. It has tons of lore, tons of artwork, artwork that you might not even get until, you know, you go around picking up the um, the annual or any of the big collected rule sets, compendiums, stuff like that. It's really, really fun. Gives all the descriptions. Essentially, this is kind of like a small little, like codex, if you will, or battle tome, war scroll for the particular faction that you know they're 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 um, they're putting out there gives you all the uh star players gives you all the rules within the magazine Give famous amazon teams building the lore the establishment you know the team uh that is you know this color scheme is the kara temple harpies yeah that's really really fun i had a chance to fully read through this uh again Lots of humor in Blood Bowl, and I really, really enjoy that about Blood Bowl is that it does have that nice level of humor. It, it's <laughs> it, the full spread on Estelle. It's, it's hilarious. She's a hilarious character. It's scary, but hilarious. It's got little editorials. Glottal stop. It has all his his rules. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. It also gives you um, playing in the jungle board because also there is a new board for Blood Bowl, which is the Amazon Temple, which is two sided board. Uh, I was not sent that particular product, but I'm sure that's getting released as well. Uh, I'm sure it's a big release that's coming out. Uh, I actually have no idea. I just get stuff and, you know, I talk about it. So anyway, yeah, in this issue, it has the Jungle Bowl, which gives you the rules for running on the uh, particular uh, temple setup. Even has the, the prizes, weather tables, the kickoff table. Man, there's, there's all sorts of uh, fun stuff. It even gives you... Um, preset teams depending on like uh if you want to if you want to run a league or if you just want to you know take the team out for a spin and see how they operate on the tabletop it also gives advice on you know what uh players and uh, positions do how to use them uh the really fun one yeah starting like starting rosters it'll give you like total of one million creds 
team setups and how to uh, how to use it. Ideas on deployment. It also gives you uh, you know basic a playbook essentially of positions and you know from kickoff if, if you're uh, attacking or defending kind of thing and yeah it's if you have the ball or not yeah it's a lot of fun boa constrictor <laughs> i'm wondering if we're gonna see more of these lizard snake men in future releases pertaining to particularly lizard like men you know yeah it's kind of interesting <laughs> same with the amazons i mean like seeing them show up in age of sigmar as you know with the seraphon and getting these snake men along with the seraphon i think that'd be cool because you know some some more units within uh, the seraphon would be really cool but that's getting sidetracked there uh, also gives you uh rules and how these teams will operate within dungeon bowl and then of course it also gives us a little comic at the end with more shiny pictures and such but yeah this is a really really fun magazine i really enjoy it i read this one cover to cover yeah blood bowl is is such a light-hearted experience it is a competitive game just by nature it's competitive right like this game makes no bone about being competitive because it's based around football which is a competitive sport it's a winner and a loser right two teams take to the field and whoever scores the most points wins the game right it's not like Kill Team where, oh, well, you know, you, you can have tournaments based around that. It's not like Warhammer 40,000 Age of Sigmar where, you know, it's based around, you know, strategy and what have you. Blood Bowl is a competitive game. And the thing is, is that it actually has, when you get into Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl actually has some very, some argue obnoxious, some might argue other ways, but can be kind of unforgiving. And if you are up for the challenge, Blood Bowl is the game for you. And if you enjoy having a good time, because you can play this game like a beer and pretzels type of game, you can also play this very competitively. Playing competitively though, especially because since like the game has mechanics for allowing for cheating and stuff like that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, again, Blood Bowl should be the, the, the competition game that everyone plays. And yet it doesn't seem like a lot of people play Blood Bowl competitively because again, the game is so kind of, I don't want to say broken, but it encourages the cheating and backstabbery and you know, all these things that we often forget about it and don't take it very seriously. And it, cause again, it's a game, but yet we get really competitive and serious about Kill Team and Warhammer and Age of Sigmar, you know what I mean? And it's just, it's all kind of funny to me, but Blood Bowl, it is a really good mix of humor, dark humor and gameplay and that's why i've i've stuck with blood bowl for 20 some years since 94 95 that's when i started getting into blood bowl and so spike journal issue 15 as of posting of this video should be up for pre-order if you want the rules for your amazons and you also want to have a bit of a laugh get this issue uh it has a, some really good insights some tips and some tricks and kind of gets helps you get the team on the field so that you don't have to kind of you know slap them around going well this is how i usually play my humans and then you get slapped around and it's like oh well that wasn't fun <laughs> you know so and the amazons like their profiles right off the hop they all have dodge they all have dodge where's where's the profiles they all have dodge so all you blood bowl aficionados out there they all, the whole team has dodge the line the line women have dodge the throwers have dodge on the ball pass and safe pass the blitzers have dodge hit and run and jump up and the blockers have defensive and dodge and that they got a new trait hit and run after a player with this trait performs a block action they immediately move one free square ignoring tackle zones so long as they are still standing they must ensure that after this free move they are not marked by or marking any opposition players very very interesting there's some basically it allows them to open up some gaps after pushing somebody out of the way or even just performing the block, just performing the block allows them to move as long as they are don't, they don't end up being marked or marking. I think that's very, very interesting. That, that allows some, like basically these, these, this team is very agile and it's all about pushing you out of the way and scoring points. That's just a quick summary of them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of rambling at this point. Um, I mean, I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to getting these models put together and getting some games in. So let me know what you guys think. Big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this magazine, as well as the models and everything like that. Huge thank you to all my patrons. Without your support, these videos would not be possible. And if you're considering Patreon support, click the link in the description. And a huge thank you to everybody who does. If you're not able to support monetarily, i.e. money, thumbing up the video, commenting, ringing the bell, all that stuff helps the channel as well. And it'll take us a couple clicks of a button and you're helping me out a great deal. So a huge thank you to everybody who does that as well. Take care of your brushes. They'll take care of you. And I will see you guys in the next exciting 
useless review or tutorial or short or unboxing go team go sports <laughs> yay